All right, what's up guys? I did a poll recently on my YouTube channel where I asked what my next video topic should be. And the most voted for topic was Shopify 2.0. So today I want to talk about page templates, which is a new feature of Shopify 2.0 that many people aren't using yet. It's a really underrated feature and it can really be quite powerful. One of the most common questions that I get on my channel when I talk about adding a specific feature to a product page is, how can I add this to one product, but not to another product, right? How can I add a feature to one product page without affecting the rest of the products on my store? And a good example of this is this tutorial where I showed you how to add a gift message field to a product. So obviously this is for products that have some kind of note attached to them, or maybe they have an engraving, or maybe there's something written on the shirt, whatever it's a customizable product, right? And maybe not all your products are like this, maybe not all your products are customizable. So you want to add this on one product, but not on another type of product. And that's really easy to do in Shopify 2.0, you just have to use page templates. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Another good use of page templates is to make a completely different design for different product pages. So you may have some products which are like your flagship products, your main products, um, and you have a lot more to say about them, right? You, have, you want to talk about their features a lot more. So the example that I've got here is all birds, you know, they've got their merino wool or, or tree, actually tree fabric sneakers, and they have this product page, right? The top of it is a typical Shopify product page. But then they've got these extra features that they want to talk about below. And we can do this now thanks to Shopify 2.0 and sections everywhere, you know how previously you only had sections on the home page, now you have them on every page. So you can add sections underneath your main product section on your product page, but maybe you don't need that for all products. So here they've got their beanie. And you know, they just don't have that much to say about the beanie, because the beanie is like not their main thing, their main thing is sneakers. So they have these two different product page templates, one for the shoes, and probably the other one is just the default product template for regular products. And you know, this doesn't have to be limited to just product pages either. So here they have a collection page, which is like your typical Shopify collection page, right? You have a product grid, and you have your filters on the left here. But they also have this other collection page under new arrivals when you click on warm weather, um, they have collection pages with this nice image banner. And look, this is for warm weather, and it's a really warm image, it really gives the mood. And they have this kind of image banner for every type of collection that is for a specific use, like when their shoes are for a specific scenario, for example, running, they have these people running. And to me as a potential customer of all birds, you know, that really appeals to me, right? So think about the psychology of a shopper here, I was actually looking for shoes for summer, I was looking for some lightweight, breathable shoes, I had heard of all birds before. So I go on their website. And then when I'm looking at their website, I open the nav and I see this like best for warm weather. So I click on that. And immediately, it kind of confirms my expectations, right? Like I'd heard that they make lightweight shoes. And then I see that they actually have a collection for warm weather. And that makes me a lot more confident as a shopper that this is the product that I need. And yes, I actually did end up buying these tree runners made of eucalyptus. So it worked. <laughs> Beside product and collection pages, you can also do this on your regular static pages, like your about page, your team page or whatever. So like all birds has this um, our story page, right? And they're using a big image banner with a video background, then they're using kind of like, I would say that this is a page section. And by the way, I should have mentioned this at the start, but all birds is on Shopify. Uh, they're one of the most successful Shopify store examples. Yeah, these are all pretty regular sections. I mean, this is a GIF image, which is pretty cool. Um, but you can do something like this on your store as well, using page templates and sections everywhere, which is now on Shopify 2.0. By the way, if you haven't upgraded to a Shopify 2.0 theme yet, I hope now you're starting to understand why you should. Um, because it gives you so many more options in terms of the design of your website. And yeah, I think that's all the examples that I wanted to give. So now let's jump into my computer, I'm going to show you first how you can add something simple like the uh, note field to just one product template, and then how you can do 
a product template with a an, an additional section like the alternating information sections that all birds is doing and then also how you can do the same for collections and for a static page it's pretty much the same process for all of them this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial so yeah let's get started Okay, so let's first talk about templates. What are templates? I think that the most common use of templates is on the contact page. So if you've ever made a contact page in your Shopify store using a contact form, uh, then you've had to create the page contact, right? And then down here in the theme template, you choose contact because every theme in Shopify comes by default with a regular default page template and a contact template. Right. And enabling this contact template would enable the contact form on your contact page. And you'd have the same with products, right? So on every product page, you might have noticed already uh, that you have this and that there's pretty much nothing there. I mean, I have one template already. You may have no templates at all. Or if you're using a more advanced theme like Turbo, you might have two pre-built templates that they allow you to use, maybe three. Um, but you never had the ability in the old Shopify to create your own templates, right? To create as many as you need. And so one of the biggest advantages of the new Shopify 2.0 is that we can now create our own templates. We create as many templates as we need. So here I am inside the theme customizer, um, looking at my gift product example, and I have this message field and it's currently using the default product template. So this message field is on all my products. Now you might be used to navigating inside the theme customizer by simply using your navigation and using your site as a customer would, but you should get used to using this dropdown as well. So to get to the default product template, you just go to products and then default product. So I'm on the default product template. I've added this field and every product now has it, but that's not what I want. What I want is just for this gift product to have this field. So what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this template, or I'm going to create a new product template on the basis of the default product template, which already has this. So let's go to products, and then I'm going to click create template. And I'm going to call it uh, with gift note, right? I'm doing it in dashes like this, because if you save it with spaces, Shopify will just convert it to dashes anyway. So I'm just doing that immediately. Um, so let's just create the template. And it might take you to a different page. This is just a preview, right? It might take you to a different product, just go back to previewing the product that you want to see this template on just so it's less confusing to work on. So now that we're on this template, we're looking at it, this is the with gift note template, and we see that it has the gift note, that's great. Now we can go back to the default product template. And we can remove that section that has the uh, gift note. And again, it doesn't matter what product you're looking at. Remember, it's not about the product, it's about the template here in the drop down. And we're looking at the default product template. It's just that whenever you do something, it kind of defaults back to showing you your first product by alphabetical order, I'm, I'm not sure, but um, ignore the product. We're just going to remove this block, okay, from the default product template, and we're going to save and now we're going to go to products and look at the with gift note and okay, great, it still has this field. And the last thing, the most important one that I think that people forget when they use this, is that you need to assign the template. So we've just created our own template. Now we need to go into products. And remember how I showed you that here, we didn't have anything except this one coffee template that I created before. Well, let's refresh. And now you'll see that we have access to the new template that we just created. If you saved in the theme customizer, if you remember to save, um, then you will see this new template. Now we can apply it and save. And now when we preview this product, we will see this. Okay, just remember that part. If you haven't applied the new template here, if this is still on default product, and you're previewing this product and wondering why it doesn't have the thing that you just did in the theme customizer, uh, that's why because you need to apply it here. So now let me show you quickly how you can make this kind of layout that all birds is using where you're talking about the features of your product below the actual main uh, default product section on Shopify. Firstly, we're still on the gift product, right? And now I'm going to change to look at a different product, I'm going to look at the shoes, 
but oh no, it's still got the message field. Why? It should be using the default product template. That's because I'm actually still looking at the GIF note template. So changing it here just changes the preview. Just remember that what product you're looking at here does not necessarily change the template that you're looking at here. So let's make sure that we switch the template again, go back to the default product template, it'll switch back to your first product in your in your product list or whatever. So just change it back to, you know, whatever product you're working on. And once again, I'm going to duplicate the default product, I'm going to create a new template called shoes product, create template, It'll throw me back to that product. I want to look at shoes. I know this is annoying. But yeah, okay, I'm looking at the shoes and I'm looking at the shoes product template. And now I can go ahead and add whatever section I want. So you know, I'm using dawn theme, and there probably isn't a section that looks exactly like this alternating layout here. A lot of other themes have it. Uh, dawn doesn't, I think, but dawn does have this multi column layout. Um, we can add a slideshow or a collage or something like that, right? We can add whatever we want to talk about our product and how cool it is. Um, we can add rich text, right? And then we'll hit save. And so we have this shoes product template and it has all this stuff in it. And then once again, we'll go into the product that we want to apply the template to. And we're going to apply the template. Now, one important thing to take note of is that the content in your template will be the same across every product that uses this template, right? So if I talk about, like, if they're talking about the men's tree runners here, then all the pages that use this template will be talking about the tree runners. So you see tree upper. Now, I bet that if we look at their other shoes, which are made of wool, they don't want them to show, um, you know, the information about the tree upper, right, or silky and breezy, they, they want different content on it, and they want different images. So there we go on this product, they're using a wool upper, and they have different images about wool. So these are actually two different templates. Okay, so they don't have just one template for shoes, like I showed you and then a different template for the beanie, as I was saying earlier, they actually have two different shoe templates, they have tree shoe template, and they have a wool shoe template, because the text is different. And the images are different. There is a but, okay, <laughs> it gets a little bit more complicated. I hope it's not getting um, too into the details here. But you can use the same shoes product template and then use meta fields. So use the insert dynamic source here, so that you can use the same template across say tree shoes, and wool shoes, but have different content inside here. So the meta field would be outputting whatever content goes here, right. Um, but that's kind of a different topic. That's meta fields. I've already made a video on meta fields. And I'm planning to make another one because I think that video wasn't very good. Uh, I'm going to talk about meta fields directly in the context of making something like this, like all birds, I might use all birds as an example again. So if you want to see that make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified. But basically, the main takeaway here is be conscious of what kind of content you're putting on here. Because if you want to use the same template for different products, then this stuff better be applicable to all those products. Otherwise, you're going to have to make a different template or use meta fields. Okay. Now again, if you want to do the same thing for collections, the process is exactly the same, you have a default collection template, right. Um, and then you can create a template, duplicate that default collection template, call it whatever you want, you can call it with image banner, right. And then you would add a slideshow section at the top or an image banner section at the top, whatever it's called in your theme. So let's add an image banner here and move this to the top. And then we can remove this text, whatever, so that we just have the image. And then what image would go in here? Well, if you want to use the same image across all the collections using this template, then you don't have anything to worry about. 
just select an image and uh, upload something. However, if you want, like all birds, to use a different image for every single uh, collection, then I recommend using meta fields, right? So you would select an image from here. And lastly, of course, there are your static pages in Shopify, like the about page. Now, the reason I call it a static page is because it doesn't have a product or a collection, right? It doesn't connect to your store data. Um, but I mean, it actually does. I mean, now it's quite dynamic, right? It has sections um, on Shopify 2.0. You can finally add sections and we don't have to have just a block of text. Um, obviously, I have some work to do on my about page. I haven't done anything yet, but um, as you can see, you can add whatever sections you want to it. And then you can save that as a template. I already have a template for my about page. But again, you can create a template, base it on any page you want, you can base it on the default page, which, does, which doesn't have any sections, um, or you can base it on your about page, for example, you can like a page that you've already created, whatever, and you can make it as many of these as you want, so that you can do completely different templates, like all birds does with our story, and they've got like our materials, right? Which is really cool, really nice. So yeah, that's it guys. I think now you know everything there is to know about um, page templates in Shopify 2.0. You know how useful they are, what they can be used for, and you know how to create them. And also a little bit about how to use them together with meta fields, although I will elaborate on that in a later video. All right, lastly, I do have a small announcement to make, um, and that is that I'm launching a members only community, kind of as an experiment. I wanna see if that there's any interest in this. So there's this website called buymeacoffee.com. Here, it's usually where you can, you know, donate money to help a YouTube creator, but I'm not asking for that today. I just wanted to tell you about my membership, which is gonna be a Discord group, right? Um, Discord is a popular chat app that is used by many YouTube creators for member communities. It'll be a chance for you to basically get consultation from me to always have someone to ask questions at any time, right? I'll be active on that group every day. I'm also hoping that you'll be able to talk to each other. So you'll all be Shopify store owners that are maybe facing the same kind of problems. Um, you'll also have a 30% discount on my development services, which you can find here under extras. Um, this is sometimes what I do if you email me, I'll tell you that I can help you for this fee, depending on the size of project, right? So. If you're a member, you'll have a 30% discount on all of my services. There will also be extra content there that I don't usually share on YouTube. So if someone asks me a specific question and I make a video for them specifically answering it, then I'll also be sharing that video in the group. And also there will be a small behind the scenes on the projects that I'm working on for my like real job, right? Which is freelancing um, for various Shopify stores. Of course, with their permission, but hopefully I'll be showing you the kind of technical problems that they're facing, features that they want to build, and how I'm going about building that. So I hope that will be interesting for you as well. And of course, lastly, you'll be supporting this channel. And you know, that will allow me to make more videos to post more frequently. Uh, but for that, I need to free up some time. Time is money, you get the idea. So you can go ahead and join now, you will automatically be added to the discord group. And I really hope to see you there. It will be so cool if this catches on. So that's all for today, guys. Thanks for listening. Subscribe and like, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And I'll see you next time.